Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It is now almost half six at night. This is the first chance I've had to do a video for this channel today. I have put three up on my um, shopping channel. I've put a happy meal up off Derek and shopping haul from Aldi's and shopping haul from Sainsbury's. I would normally only do one shopping one every week but I needed that many things from both of the shops so I just did both of the shopping um, hauls today and then I put them up so that's how I've got three up and this is the first chance I've had to sit and do a one for this channel because <coughs> I have been busy there this is my case that Priscilla sent me distinctively handcrafted that's her channel I put all my zing needles they're all inside here in fact, I've got them doubled up on some of them because um, I have so many of them and they start from, I think, 275. So I think they start from 275 and go all the way down to 10. Those are 10. But some of them, there hasn't been enough room to fit them all in separate, so... I could only get the two of the biggest ones in, but as I got smaller, I could get like like five. I've put 5.5 and five into one thing and like six and 6.5 into one and the fours and that and 4.5 and that. I've put them all together in different things. So I don't know whether I'll ever use these again since I started with the, um, the circular ones and cutting them in half because I just much prefer knitting with those ones. But anyway, I put them away because they're just gathering dust in my little holder that I keep them in. And I'll show you my holder now. That's them now. They are all the, the circular ones all around there. Some have got the little things on, but I'm waiting for some. I ordered some. I found some little, the, the clusters beads thing, but the silicone ones. I found some like this on um, Timu. I'm just waiting for them to come in so I can put them on a lot of the other ones. But a lot of these needles don't have the sizes on them. And every time, if, unless I actually know what they are when I pick them up, I have to put them in my measuring and the measure gauge thing for them. So that's those ones on there and those are the only needles straight needles that actually use my little ones because i use them for little baby things you know when i'm doing little baby things so i've put those in and at least the the holder here is a little bit more balanced because sometimes every time i went past it if i caught it accidentally it tipped over and there were all the needles and i was sick of picking them up off the, the floor but this is much better balance this and I've just been sticking these in. I haven't sorted them all out yet, but all the ones that haven't got the sizes on, I have one of those pens, you know, like the marker thingy pens. I'm going to write the sizes on them because I'm sick of having to, to test them to see what size they are when I pick them up. But um, I think the ones... I know these ones are 7 millimeter because of the because of the needle on them but i've only just cut that one in half um today i don't need but some of them and i have some big ones like pony ones that actually has the 15 millimeter that's a 15 millimeter on the pony one the larger they get with the pony they do straight they don't do that fold that bend on the end of them so that one's there anyway. I don't know where the other one is off that one. That's another one. That's, I think that's another pony one. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a marker pen and put the sizes on them. And I don't know how many of these things I've got. I think I've got about 20. I think I only ordered one pack of 20, so there'll be enough for 10 circulars. But these ones like this, I can keep taking them off and putting them on but the ones with the much thinner cables maybe it's like these and the metal ones which the newest ones i've just bought i haven't sorted them out yet but they will have to be probably glued in because the, um the cable that goes through the little holes is a lot smaller than what the hole is so 
Anyway, that's a bit easier than the were before one. And I can walk, I've walked past it loads of times since I've done that and knocked it and it hasn't fell over, so they were just too top heavy with all the um, the zings in, but I'm having a cup of tea too. And you know, I bought some bulbs for this room because with it being dark and I have the light on, I bought some new bulbs to make a better light in here and I haven't gotten around to putting it in yet. That's why it's sort of, the background's all like a different colour to where it is normally during the day. But anyway, I come on just to show you what I had been doing. I haven't had time to do a lot today because I did go out shopping after my lunch. I decided to go out late. I usually go in the morning, but I went after my lunch for a change. And like I say, it was a lot easier. There was plenty of parking places. And it was easier to get around the shops because everybody else must have been doing the shopping in the morning. But in the morning, I'd done a little bit. This one. This is how far I've got with, that's the one with the um, the PU leather base on the um, the bottom. That was all I got done. So I'll probably get some more of that done tomorrow. Maybe probably get it finished by Monday and then I can send that and the, um, this, uh, the set of the bowls, the cake, the cake yarn bowls. <laughs> I'll get them finished and put them, get them sent to Emma. So that was all I did of that. And last night, I did quite a few rows on this one of Val's. I've just dropped it with a needle on the floor there. So it's getting longer. Doesn't seem to go as quick as with the other ones I was knitting with the... Um, the two strands are getting it much quicker, those ones. But anyway, that's that. <laughs> they come in handy, those little bags, because each, each thing I'm knitting, I just shove inside the um, the bag, that one. And I had done just a few rows. I only managed a few rows of um, Belinda's before I went out shopping and then after I... Didn't have much time after I come out shopping by the time I'd done the videos and then I had to put all the shopping away and then I've just finished making my tea. I've just finished washing up all the dishes and everything and I thought I'd come and do a few rows. That's how far I've got. I'm going to do a few rows of this before I start on uh, Val's because I, like I'm saying I haven't had much time to do it. So I'll do it until about 8 o'clock on here and then I'll use the rest of the time to do some on um, Val's. And that's, I think, it. I haven't done any of my other things, any of the blankets or the scarf or anything. I just haven't had time today. And I'll not have a lot of time tomorrow because I'm going to my granddaughter's tomorrow. So I'll do what I can in the morning. And I usually take a little baby cardigan to knit um, when I go down there because uh, it's not too much trouble. I couldn't take anything like an order like this for the, the kids, you know. <laughs> kids keep disturbing me if it's not um, Eddie. Expecting me to read, he plays a game on the, um, I don't know what it's on, whether it's on the PlayStation or something, but he can, he can, he's just learning to read. And I have to sit and tell him all this, the words that come up on the screen, what he has to do and all that. So that's how I don't get much done um, of my uh, knitting and that um, until, I, until we get well lunch. And then I think last week we were playing play your cards right, so I'll tell Cheryl we'll get some other game out for a change instead of the take the kids, try to get the kids, the eyes off their games. Do something else where they've got to use their own mind and their imagination. So I'm going to do what I can of this, and we're drinking my tea and all. I've just washed all those dishes up I had downstairs. My dishes from all day, from breakfast, lunch, and tea. That's what I do. I just wash the whole lot all together. And I've come up here and I found a cup up on the thing that I must have forgot to take downstairs with me. <laughs> I need a little thing in my sink in the um, the bathroom because that's just round the corner from uh, the room I'm in. Just put them under there and rinse them out under there and so I don't when I forget to take them downstairs. Anyway, I'm doing what I can. A little bit of this. And I think that was all. Yes, that's all I have to tell you now. So 
And the happy meal I had this morning was from uh, Derek. I did put a, um, a link to his channel on that video, but I'll put it on here as well because there may be a lot of you who don't know about Derek because he always he sent me an awful lot of happy meal. Most of my subscribers do. A lot of them subscribe to him as well. And I think he's only about 50 short of um, getting his thousand for to get um, his channel monetized. So I'm going to put a link on this video as well for anyone that wants to take a look. And I might want to give him a few subscribers and help him onto that thousand. Because he said he did lose some, some, he hadn't been able to put any videos up for a little while because um, because of work commitments and I think he mustn't been very well either because he said he's just been diagnosed with diabetes so I think that's probably stopped him getting on with his videos and that so he said he had lost some of his subscribers I think it was probably because he hadn't been able to put any videos and that up so hopefully he'll get a few from me it's not the first time I've given him a shout out but hopefully he'll get a few more from me and help him on his way to that thousand and that makes all the difference once you get your channel monetized it gives you more incense to get on with the um your videos and get more done so anyway thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time so bye for now